Hello everyone and welcome back to Control. This is episode 6. Last time we went to Darling's HRA lab and into Blackrock Processing to get ourselves a prism um, that we could that we could make work and a lot of interesting things happening in that regard of like what the deal is with Blackrock, where it's located, all of that kind of uh, all of that kind of weird nonsense. But after that, uh, we did communicate with uh, Marshall about Dylan. We're like, hey, where's Dylan Faden? And uh, she told us what we needed to know uh, for the most part, which is uh, he was being groomed for the next director, and he's in the containment sector held in the Panopticon. So that's where we'll be heading uh, for this episode. We're going to head there right now. So if we jump on down to containment, uh, I guess we should go to logistics. And we're going to go hang out with Dylan. We're going to see what he's he's been up to all these years. Um, I wonder whether he's going to be bitter or resentful uh, towards Jesse for maybe taking so long to come and find him, potentially. We're not sure if uh, writing Jesse on the wall, you know, when we when we saw that scene before, was like a uh, an anger thing or an obsession thing. We uh, we do not know. We will have to find out. But I guess we can, like, we do need to just go straight ahead here to get to the Panopticon. So we're gonna push through. Obviously, this is not an area that we've uh, really fully explored at this point. We've only been sort of at that lower area. Uh, we do need to come back into that area eventually as well for the um, for the anchor. Um, we'll obviously wait for a good opportunity to maybe uh, revisit uh, that spot and we'll, and we'll see. But for now, we'll push ahead. I expect that we'll do backtracking into... We'll do backtracking into some previous areas... Uh, for files and items and all sorts when we get higher clearance levels, so we'll just focus on the main objectives for today, which is SURPRISE, BITCH! It's me, using a shotgun from a distance, because I'm clever. God, I love this shit. Bye. How dare you. So good. Nice. Clearance level six, which I don't think we, I don't think we have. Yep, we're on clearance level five. So we're not getting in there anytime soon. Why can't we acquire a cool telekinetic power that can uh, open doors or something? Rip apart the the wire frame, the internals to get that door open. Who needs clearance levels when you're the director? That's another thing. It's like, shouldn't I be able to access anything as the director? I guess not. Clearance level six to get in there too. The fuck? My god, it's the clickers from Last of Us. Bruh, they're literally clickers, what the fuck? Oh my god. Naughty Dog's gonna sue. 
They're fucking fungal and everything, dude. Oh, it's the mold. Ah! Oh, that's fucked. Oh, that's that. I don't. I, no, no, no. No vomiting, please. Ah! There's fucking so many of them. Holy shit! There's so many of them. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> there's uh, there's a few. Uh, there's uh, there's just a few of them. Just a few. Let's uh, let's try that again, shall we? Let's try that again. Okay, so... Wait, where? Oh. Alright. So I just gotta run all the way through again. Um... Wow. Oh, I can see all the mold on the floor here now. That makes much more sense. Oh. We got different enemies than last time. Oh my god. It's honestly, I aim better with the shotgun when I just hip fire it, I guess. Oh, you can make, you can convert the, the clickers to your team as well. They are going to be affectionately referred to as clickers from now on. Oh, you did good, bud. You really helped me out there. Oh, this is... this is gross. Destructible objects! Oh, they can fucking shoot shit at you too! What the fuck? Oh, they shoot shit out of their face. Oh my god. Uh... Research, please? I need to know what the fuck this is. Mold autopsy. Unfortunately, not any information about the... Uh, so, uh, is th is this is separate? This is separate from the hiss, because the mold, I guess, is, the mold has already been spoken about before uh, this hiss stuff started. So the mold are a new... or well, not a new thing. The hiss are new. The mold are new to me now. But um, we've seen reference to things talking about like the mold um before so this is something else the deceased was a blank year old blank with no significant past medical history the subject was brought in after being discovered in the active threshold in an early state of decay that is characteristically fungal based in its appearance during autopsy the cadavers plural cavities were revealed to be entirely filled by the fungus known as the mold to an extent the medical staff were forced to put on decontamination suits the procedure was also hindered by anomalies such as the deceased's high body temperature and un uh, undulating torso muscles presumably but not probably caused by trapped gases routine samples as well as tissue samples requested by dr underhill were successfully extracted however their rapid retrogression outside of the host body needs to be noted. Cause of death, mold ingestion. So I would say because like time, it would be like some sort of time related thing that feels so weird that maybe you could be like ingesting or inhaling like mold unknowingly and then I guess you get converted it, like they like in 
I'm gonna just keep having to re relate it to the clickers because that's how, like what everyone would have an understanding of <laughs> is fungal infection essentially that uh can takes over your entire body oh this is good though this is cool I'm excited to see and very interested to see what this is gonna develop into Just looking around. Could it be? Could it be tr tied to the uh, the plants at all? Oh god! I thought you were alive. You moved. <laughs> ah! Glow procedures. We'll walk around this area and we'll pick up a few files because I think there was something downstairs as well. So we'll just explore for a bit before we start reading through the files that we are destined to pick up. This takes us through to a... Ooh, multimedia, the oldest house. August 4th, 1964, we discovered the oldest house while investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. The agents found their way up into the building. Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight, a, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power. An ongoing AWE of its own, seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's, it's unstable, shifting. Note, for more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out in the open. This, this was always an obfuscated, classified top secret operation. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. God, the cuts in that the the cuts in this footage is so are so strange. <laughs> They're very bizarre. <sighs> very bizarre. Okay. The oldest house. While investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. The agents found their way up into the building. Okay. And that's the way that we go into the Panopticon. Oh, it's light bulb related. Yeah, we have to travel through the motel to get there. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, this opens up a shortcut, I hope. Nice. Shadow projectile choke. Hang on, let's have a look at this. Um, got some 
new stuff. Rate of fire, damage, damage after kill 76%, projectile spread minus 29%, an absolute level 5. Um, I think I might actually do 76% damage after kills because I could just go on an absolute killing spree. It'd be great. It'd be great. Ooh, launch energy cost minus 21%. Let's uh, update that. Shield strength 49%. C speed 63%. The increase to C's actually is that's quite nice. Uh, deconstruct the weaker ones. We're into the good shit now, baby. is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Has the Hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? He's out. P6 cell breached. Okay, it turns out there was not more files to get, so let's have a read of this case file. Globe procedures. No unique procedures required, so an altered item. However, contact should be limited as some report feeling disoriented after touching it. Item is handmade, set in dark wood. The item is liqueured, hand-painted, um, spins freely on all axis. Uh, while the continents and oceans are recognizably those of Earth, careful examination has revealed numerous blanks and other geographic additions that do not exist on our planet. One of these islands has a city marked on it named Tanrelio, the very signature is left by its maker. Physical contact renders subjects dizzy and disoriented, with some reporting a feeling of unfamiliarity with their surroundings. This effect seems to grow worse with prolonged contact, culminating in a sense of listlessness and depression. Suicide has been observed in blank handlers. Wow, okay. Ooh! Hi, Dylan. That was weird. Oh, that's just what I like to hear in my motel. Okay, what's what are we figuring out this time? Oh! Room service? Oh. Ah, uh, oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, room one. Upside down. Room number two. Not upside down. Okay. Room number three. Also not upside down. Oh, upside down painting. Okay. okay. Ah. Interesting. The painting in room number in the third room influenced the first room. Alright, we got the key. It's been a long time since Dylan and I knew each other. I've wondered about him, what kind of man he'd grow up to be, were things as hard for him as they were for me. Maybe in here, they were even harder. Oh, hello. 
Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there. <laughs> it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV? It's a, it's a real doozy. <laughs> Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't want all those altered items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so... Uh, just do that. <laughs> I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. <laughs> uh, even when you're in the middle of like a dialogue, like interaction with the character, it still pops up with the the timed mission, like the new one. Um, so, mission briefing. So, my brother's keeper. Subdue the Benikoff TV object to power fourth floor. Uh, we do need to. Uh, do this one for Artie. Jesse helps Artie by speaking with the plants in Central Research. So I do need to do that as well. Um, we've got old growth. Um, that's the anchor. So I guess we'll look at doing my brother's keeper for now. And then both of these are tied to... Central research, old growth, and what a mess. These things are a bad influence on my collection. You're also looking at that same cell, my guy. Can I talk to you and get more information? Is the TV back in its box yet? No rush or anything, it's just, you know, an ongoing concern. Yes, okay. Tell me about you, sir. Do you like working at the FPC? Sure. I mean, yeah, the drama's a bit much, but I get better benefits here than I would over at the Postal Service. I checked. Better health care. That's not to say I don't like my job, ma'am. Been here over 15 years. No one knows the Panopticon collection better than me. I'm, uh, close to them, in a way. I can't tell if that's creepy or normal here. How do you keep the altered items under control? It depends on the item. Each one has different needs. Ritualistic touches go a long way. Singing to them. Did he say singing? the lights three times, that sort of thing. It's not superstition if it works. What's the difference between objects of power and altered items? Think of them like storms. Objects of power are like tropical cyclones or hurricanes for the uneducated. They're big, rare, and scary. Of course, directors can just bind the OOP and become the eye of the storm. Altered items are more like weird thunderstorms. Some may rain frogs, some may rain corn, but they all rain something. And how does the hiss factor into all that? It's changing them, making them aggressive. Now they're all raining, I don't know, knives. Knife rain. <laughs> nice metaphor. <laughs> He's great. Did you work closely with Trench? Oh, he spent most of his time with Darling and all them. The inner circle. Not that I care. Trench certainly had his favorites. He did stop in occasionally to scowl and smoke. Did you know the Bureau has a no-smoking policy? It does. Just not for Trench. Still, he is the one who put aside funding for the Panopticon. The man did have vision. <laughs> How did you get this job? Started as a junior agent because my uncle knew a guy. From there, I got put on a desk until an accident left the containment sector severely understaffed. At which point, I got bumped up to management. 
put in a steady eight hours a day for another 10 years and voila, supervisor. I just picked up a gun. Or a gun picked me. <laughs> Oh my god. Good dialogue. I'll see you later, Langston. Hey, listen to this. Containment failure in Panopticon cell 69. Nice. <laughs> I do not see what is humorous about an escaped paranatural entity originating from cell 69, sir. But you just said it. Come on, you guys. It's funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, we're in the Panopticon. Boom. It's close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find it. Control point acquired. Fire break. Okay, let's see. Closed, closed. Let's head down here. Pierced aim fire boost. Well, naturally, enemies. Haha, -ha, I'm below you. You ain't never seen me coming. Nope, apparently, you did see me coming. How's that for damage after kill, baby? Only on floor one, too, so I wonder how many floors in this place. Fortified unit 714. Right. Another seize accelerator mod. Is that a post box? No information to obtain about said post box, but that is post box. Okay. <laughs> okay, pick me basket. I kind of wish that there was files on all of these that I could read. Looks like we do not have the case. Ah, yes. The fan. The pedestal fan. A mallet. Peace Excel on level 5. Ooh, it's, we have a redacted level. Why would you redact a level? AI containment. Damn, so they really did stick him on the highest level to the point where the P6 cell is the only fucking thing up there. AI containment sounds very interesting. Having a redacted uh, level in a place that's already sort of like a place that is specifically for containing stuff that people with clearance would be is very curious. Okay. Something went wrong with the Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much of it was what the Bureau did to him? I don't think she's telling me everything. I don't think anyone's really telling us everything at this point. It's it's uh, it's quite cryptic. So altered items containment on level four. Knife rain. Inbound. Oh, hello. Hmm. Nothing in there. Refrigerator. What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God. 
Look, someone has to watch this object at all times, or it deviates. My ship replacement never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back, I promise. Okay. Okay, just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. Fridge Judy. Let me have a look at the description. Assist the agent in the Panopticon cell after Dylan has been found. Finds an agent in the Panopticon who has been left to stare at a refrigerator altered item. He can't stare much longer. But if he blinks, the refrigerator will deviate. That is such an unfortunate item. This one is closed off. Is doing good down here. What's up? What's up, baby? Director Faden coming in, coming in clutch. Ah, this is the okay. Oh, hello. Oh, that's good. What if I move the body out of the way? Is it stuck there? Yeah, the body is fixed in that position. Nothing's me. Oh. Nothing's moving that. <laughs> Twisted passage. That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it. Oh, that's our TV. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. No! Oh. Shit. I'm trying to think of the ability we'll be able to learn from this one. The ability to warp sp space. Wow, that's really fucking cool. I can't move my camera. Oh, there we go. Now I can. Oh, shit. Oh, this is sick. What if we go this way? This is where we came from, right? Okay. This is cool. Oh, 
Oh, what? Now will you fight me? What? Can't get the drop on him. What? S oh shit, Salvador, okay. Oh, this is Salvador and his team that went in. Oh my god. Why are you armored up now? Okay. Fuck, I love the shotgun. Down, boy. Security. His team didn't stand a chance against the Hiss. No one here does. Okay, the TV. Another object of power gone nuts. Here we go again. What's the ability that we're gonna get from this? It like shifts reality. Oh, this is so cool. Use the TV slash babysitter. Levitate superhero over the obstacle. Levitate! Holy shit. Oh my god. How do we do- Ah! Oh my god. We can go and take on the anchor now. There's a levitate ability. Me going like, where's my double jump? Oh my god. We can levitate. Oh, that's so good. Oh my god. I'm instantly going to become a fucking badass now. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Cool! We can levitate. That means I'm going to be able to take on the anchor. And get my revenge. Against it beating my ass for so long. This is amazing. A while falling to slow fall. Safely controlling the descent. That's so nice. Use flash, APB. Ooh. The hiss static attempts to reach us. Our broadcast must survive. Dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. Oh, oh. oh my god! Da, da, da. Oh, you can you can only lever levitate for a limited amount of time. Confirmed. Oh my god! There's all those. Uh, there's the doors that were out of reach that I can now just levitate into. Oh, this is cool. Can I, like, do combat while I'm levitating? I can, yes. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. It's like one of those unfortunate things that it's like, once you die, you're kind of done. <laughs> I mean, once you're close to death, it's like, mm, unless you can quickly kill someone. 
that's kind of the end of that one. That's so much fun. Uh, where are we? Oh, well, I mean, I guess we just skipped having to leave that section. There you go. Don't expect to do that. We can upgrade... Oh, we can construct charge now. Holds up to three explosive projectiles that can stagger enemies caught in their blast radius. Or we can upgrade shatter. I think I know what I want. Upgrade shatter instead, please. Uh, projectile spread, rate of fire. I'll go for a tighter spread. I'll go for a tighter spread. Let's read this research that we picked up. Salvador's ID. It should never have been accessible to loot clearance staff in the first place. Cool. All right. Case files. Uh, the Benikoff TV. Object of power seven. No unique containment procedures required while bound. A CRT television built by Benikoff and Sons Electrics. The screen is still functional. The object can levitate itself off the ground to a maximum observed altitude of blank. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to harness this effect for their own use. See report blank for the results tested with Prime Candidate blank. Prime Candidate would be Dylan, right? The object is currently bound by blank. The object was first discovered in a local news story from Blank, Kansas. A figure had been seen Blank over buildings. The Bureau dispatched agents to the town who discovered that a man named Blank had bound himself to the object. Mr. Blank was detained and the object was brought to the Bureau for study. Anchor Supplement the crew of the White Ocelot first encountered a strange spherical phenomenon while fishing in the blank. Witnesses described it as a black sphere with a faint light behind it. It hovered just off the bow of the ship. The crew blank by throwing a tin bucket, which disappeared into the sphere. Soon after, the vessel lost structural integrity. The ship's metal rusted uh, and fell apart within minutes. Uh, as the ship sank, the sphere lowered into the water. A passing fishing vessel called the blank rescued the four surviving crew. Agents were dispatched to the White Ocelot's last known coordinates, blank, and began diving operations. On the ocean floor, the agents found the sphere. The ship was entirely destroyed except for its anchor. As agents lifted the anchor off the ocean floor, they noticed the sphere behaved in conjunction with the anchor, moving and stopping as one. Contact with the sphere was avoided, but handling the anchor proved harmless. The item was transported by the blank to the US port of blank. Upon arriving in New York, it was brought into the bureau via the blank. Guess what, anchor? I can go and take you on now. Uh, let's go to the... I'm pretty sure it's the sealed threshold atrium. And now we can just levitate over the gap and get this bad boy. Yay! Look at that. Amazing. It's almost as if it was meant for that. Now we can take on. Uh, having the shotgun is probably not a good idea. Uh, the shotgun's probably a good idea for. Shotgun's probably a good idea. Oh, that's not, that's not. <laughs> probably not a good idea to just run off the edge straight away, is it? <laughs> just, huh, oh shit, I'm dead. Never mind. I tried. That, that attempt didn't happen. It was a practice run. Face me, coward. Do I want to do... Shadow would be good for the enemies that pop up, but then... Grip... Can be... Like, Pierce does good damage when I'm not throwing clocks at it, so I'm thinking I might also do Pierce. The fuck is that? Because Pierce does do damage. Slowly, but surely. It's making more clocks. Face me, please. I got you. I 
best way to do this fight. Just stay here, I was I say. No, don't face that way. Face the other way. Face me. I'm right here. There we go. I think this is my turn. Is it my turn? No, you're going across to that side again. How about that? Can we do that instead? Kills all of the people at least. He's just avoiding me now. Because it knows that I have the, the uh, cool ability. He's yeah, just avoiding me. <laughs> ah! How annoying. Oh, you would go the other way. Cheap. I need to go over this side to get health. Oh. I didn't think I'd get hit by that. Oh, it started to do the thing where it's speeding up, that's why. Oh, no. Come on, guys. Don't do it to me. No game. I hate fighting the anchor. <laughs> no. Oh, levitate. Pain in my butt. It'd be nice if it gave you like a an aerial boost when you used it to save you from a drop. But no, I could have just continued to play it safe. But I got a bit got a bit dumb at the end there. Making more clocks. What the fuck is that? What? What? Making more clocks? Oh no! I'm, well, now I'm almost dead again. How did that not target it to attack? I'm shocked. So rude. Where are you gonna go? You're gonna go this way? Okay. Alright, you worked that time. Oh, that's rock. Oh. Vomited again? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're doing it. You're just going real quick now, aren't you? I've got the wrong weapon. Oh, you would 
go over the other side, wouldn't you? Where are you going now? This side. Ah, uh, and you're just doing it quickly. <gasps> How dare you not work? We got it! <laughs> Fuck me. Finally! Finally. Should not have been as hard as I made it out to be. Your mind, you anchor sphere bastard. You're mine now. There. No one of the rangers had such a hard time with that one. <laughs> now it was easy. Now I can levitate to get to like the weird. Uh, to get to these. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Uh, ability points. We now have three. Um, levitation duration. Oh, yes. Levitation duration. Yes, please. Oh, hang on. What's the ability there? What's the secondary follow up? Press RS while levitating and slam into the ground to damage nearby enemies. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. I like that a lot. Now we can upgrade shatter and upgrade grip. Cool. Anchor has been dealt with. I think at this point in time, before we proceed and go to get Dylan, because it seems like such a massive thing to do, uh, I don't know if it's going to change anything or, like, make other, like, side missions redundant. I don't know if there's things that are missable if you, like, go past a certain point. So we're going to go to Central Executive, and we're going to do the two missions that are here. Um, the one for RTE, first and foremost. Um, which is... Get rid of these. For Artie, which is to talk to the plants. Talk to the, talk to the plants. Case files, the anchor procedures. So this is a different one, uh, Ocelot's Anchor. So we've read we've read a description about the anchor, but this is a new uh, a new report about the same thing. Ocelot's Anchor, Alternate Altern Item Eleven, Black Rock paneling successfully prevents manifestation of the sphere. A Trotman-style anchor made of iron with a wooden stock. Surface is rusted in places. Weighs 3,789 pounds. This item generates a persistent blank sphere, the purpose of which is currently unknown. The sphere is always generated at a precise point in relation to the item, specifically blank horizontal feet and blank horizon uh, vertical feet from the blank of the anchor. Appendix. Uh, 25th of April 1983, blank, Ranger First Class, was dropped into the sphere wearing a diving suit with a dedicated oxygen line at blank AM EST. After 10 minutes and 13 seconds inside the sphere, blank's oxygen line was cut at the sphere's border by an unseen force. All agents in the room during blank's entry into the sphere experienced vomiting, vertigo, and loss of fingernails within an hour of one another. Ranger blank has been declared MIA, presumed dead. God. Yeah, that doesn't seem so great, does it? Uh, let's make this mission for RT. Our main mission, so we can actually track. Where do we need to go? Oh, sorry. Re we need to go to Central Research, not Central Executive. What am I talking about? Um, research. Central Research, please. Take, make sure I actually go to the right place. <laughs> We want to make sure that we help Artie out. We are his we are his janitor's assistant, after all. We're just a hard working gal working two jobs as the director of the FBC and also the janitor's assistant. Okay. 
We're working hard. So here, apparently. Talk to the plants. Small talk was never really my strong suit. At least I like, can't talk back. I mean, that's what you think. I hope your day has been productive, little plant. <laughs> That really works, huh? Hmm. That's curious. How strange. Not, not these plants, not these plants. Okay. I All the ones that look looted and dead. I haven't been bothering you too much. Okay, we can see a progress bar filling up. I wish my leaves were as pretty as yours. Uh. Ooh, we can levitate. We can levitate down there now, actually. We should try that. We shouldn't take full damage. We can levitate down there. I'll give it a shot. Any plants that look dead? Do you have a family? I have a brother. I miss him a lot. looking for plants. They say I'm the director, but what does that mean? I have no experience in leadership roles. I have no on-the-job training. Uh, one more. <laughs> is Dr. Darling Fenmanship intentionally this bad? Maybe he's trying to test our code-breaking skills. Huh. A bunch of people in here now. Hello, everybody. I like how like cha places that you've been to get like cleared out um, and then occupied. Um, okay. Oh no, not enemies. Not enemies. Ooh, hello. Our plant. Your chlorophyll really brings out the green in your leaves. That's all of them. But I kind of wish there were more. They're nice. good listeners. They're good listeners. Should we uh, should we poke our eyes into the ashtray maze and see if there's actually anything that we can do in here? I mean, it allows us to walk in here, and nothing's come about this yet. It's just so weird that we're allowed to even enter this place, because it feels like you need to do stuff to usually get these bridges to open, and it's usually tied to a mission. So curious about this place. Looks so weird. 
Whoa. Okay. We're seeing like real time shifting. Oh, that is so cool. Back at the entrance. Ah! Oh wow, okay. It is, it's deciding, I guess, where to put me. Uh, we got some new, got some new mods. Um, energy gain from headshots, exclusive to grip, pierce, and spin. Health recovery element per pickup. Ooh, we currently have 54%, so doing good. Huh. So it does keep opening new areas. It's not just randomly like leading us in a circle or anything. And now we're back at the entrance again. Oh my god, this is so really, really cool. Maybe, do I need to be quick? Sometimes to see if I can like No. No. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, it's repeating. I think I think we might be I think we might be done for what we can explore at the moment. It's leading us in a circle. As we do remember, you need specific access to do something. So I guess we're not able to do anything yet. There's just not much. We did get some mods though. So there's that at least. Um, we should now have a look at our mission, which is um, old growth to locate Dr. Underhill below Central Research. So we're also, we're also still in Central Research, apparently. Underhill's lab. Oh, could that be the, the drop, could that be the drop down thing? Down here. Whee, I can never take so much longer, it's nice. Okay. Could it be this? Oh, I guess you could jump on the ledges and probably get down here without that. All right, we're in the pit. Oh, and there's going to be mold down here. There's going to be some mold enemies. Not sure what gives me that idea. Just, just a feeling. Just a feeling. The environments in this game are so cool. There's not a photo mode, is there? There is a photo mode. How does the photo mode in this game work? Is it a free camera or is it tied to... Oh, it's my favorite type of photo mode. I love it when I'm allowed to do this. Oh, man, I wish every game could do this um, with their photo mode. A lot of games with their photo mode, they tether it, they anchor it to your character and you can only circle your character because they assume that you... Your photo mode, you only want to include your character. You know, when I love a photo mode that allows me to move and to frame shots, because if I, I, I don't always want to take a photo of like my character, I would love taking a photo of like environments sometimes that are really fucking really cool. Um, sometimes you just want to like capture some like really neat like photos of stuff that don't involve. Um, Jesse, do you just disappear or can we go inside your head and see your eyeballs? No, you're gone. Okay. Very cool. Um, it doesn't have many effects and things that you can do. Uh, every photo mode, I think that they should on honestly just be a template and every game should just follow the same photo mode template, uh, which should be a mixture of Ghosts of Tsushima photo mode, which I have uh, briefly played around with um, in my very, very tiny amount of time that I 
that I picked the game up and then never went back to it. Uh, and then um, uh, Death Stranding as well, because Death Stranding has a lot of like poses that you can do and like um, facial expressions for when you do want to take a photo of your character. Um, so that's very cool. Photo mode not being tethered to the character is something that I I very much enjoy. Do I need to take you with me? I'm not seeing anything that I would need to use you for. That's a photo of me! Let's just go in the store. Oh! They're actually... They're, they're friendly. That's so weird. I was expecting... Enemies. Damn, bitch, you guys live like this? Shut up, projectile boost. Ooh. Yeah. Projectiles fired, plus five. I could try that one. Excuse me. Are you lost? Yes, it is Underhill's lab. I was correct. Ha <laughs> ha! You just researching mold down here? Sorry to let myself in. It was just uh, too irresistible to come and check this place out. And I'm also just going to get all of your research. Lunch, huh? You hungry? Hello. Do you normally barge into people's private workspaces? <laughs> she clearly doesn't know who she's talking to. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Why? Because of those his things the rangers keep going on about. Haven't you people sorted that out yet? The situation down here could spell doom for the Bureau. You mean this mold? Correct. Perhaps you could help me. I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. Really? Mold samples? I thought this could spell doom. It could, and it will, whoever you are. The mold is spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. And these samples will do that? No. Samples of five unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Okay. So, what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. I've made a list of the samples I need. Here. You'll find them throughout the threshold. I'll take a look. My name's Jessie, by the way. I'm sure it is. She's really not going to, like, catch on to the fact that we're the director. So rude. <laughs> Five mold samples. Grows near th fresh corpses, near toilets, television, staircases, and the pit. Okay. Have you worked at the FBC very long? Not long enough to understand their inane methodology. They want me to solve the mold, but how is one to solve anything when the basic molecular structure of this fungus is an utter enigma? Oh. Sorry, are you asking me? It's rhetorical. The Bureau wants to control, not comprehend. But to answer your question, I'm a seasoned threshold researcher that's been brought in on a provisional basis to resolve this matter. That's all you had to say. <laughs> what have you learned about the mold? Firstly, the term mold is a gross oversimplification used only to ease communication. That said, the mold itself appears to be the product of complex microorganisms. They spin the mold, building structures like minuscule cities, swiftly colonizing our dimension, and the speed of these tiny engineers relative to their size is simply staggering. So it grows fast. If you're not going to listen, then why did you ask? So rude. So the mold is coming in from... where? We don't have a name for the threshold dimension. The origin point has been identified, but the density of the fungus makes it impossible to enter. 
Even if we could, I speculate that we would only find a reality entirely subsumed by the fungus. Total decomposition! It's weird how excited she is, right? What do you know about the Hiss? How could I know anything about an entity I've only just learned of? This is exactly the Bureau's problem. My work is always interrupted by these, these superfluous matters. Calm down. Just keep your HRA on and I'm sure you'll be fine. This crude thing. I thought it was Darling's idea of a practical joke. Not quite. Just keep your head down while I handle the hiss. I need to get going. Try not to transport any spores outside the infected areas. I just infect you with the mold in a minute. Don't let mold hit your ride. All right, so essentially. Yeah, all right, mate. Uh, so there's one type of mold that grows near the pit, which might be this way. It smells so sweet down here. Suddenly, I'm really hungry. I wonder how this mold tastes. Oh. No, Jesse. Not allowed. Are we in combat? Why are we in combat? Ah! I've been attacked by a computer. Is this supposed to be the inter the introduction to the mold? I think this is supposed to be the introduction to the mold. Because now she's acting like she's never seen him before. Hey ya! Get long ranged. As soon as I take off my PS weapon. Eat my lamp. Oh my dude. Very re you're very resistant to uh, the shotgun, apparently. God. <laughs> I expect to almost get wiped out by the last enemy of the group. That looks like a mold sample to me. It is. This looks like a good one. That's how one did a pit. Okay. Disgusting. I don't like it. Oh, control point two. Nice. That's a fresh corpse. Where's the mold at? I guess we gotta go actually go um, somewhere else in research to make it happen. Keep exploring down here while we're here, because there was a point something down here. Huh, <laughs> the picnic basket procedures. The altered item that we saw before in containment. if we're going to learn how to be able to yeah I wonder if we're going to be able to learn how to traverse the mold because there's a few safe rooms and areas that have been blocked by this stuff that we haven't been able to break through I 
Do I bring? Can I bring her the stuff separately? Have you collected the samples yet? No. All right, I'll get all of them. Going. Try not to transport any spores outside the infected areas. Careful Back in there, ma'am. Area's under quarantine. I wouldn't go in there without talking to Underhill first. Even if you have, I still wouldn't go in. Fine. Okay. Um, Grows near fresh corpses, near the toilets, televisions, and staircases. Okay. The good thing is it does make itself quite uh, obvious when you are in the, in its vicinity. So. Oh, hang on. There's the fucking power thing. Wait a minute. How could I have been so blind? It's right there. What are we powering? Oh, the elevator. Right. There. Uh, toilets, baby. These are toilets. Tell me you got some mold for me. You know? An invincible toilet door. Invincible toilets. Oh, with a body in it. That's great. Okay, oh, let's take the lift up. We'll look around here for some mold. There's toilets down. These are some fresh corpses. Makes me wonder how much like aimless running around I'll be doing until I actually find it if it can even be found in this section or whether I need to be back down even further and I've just missed everything. Um, I'm gonna take some time to look around I might have to head back down to check out this uh, check out this sector I guess and we'll see if I can find some mold. So it is definitely all in this area. So we've got another one. There's definitely a bunch of corpses here around this control point. Oh, hang on. There's a door. Follow the trail of corpses. Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, this is actually going to be so much easier than I thought. Be one of the samples. <laughs> Initially, I'm just like, we have to leave and go through the whole research sector, even though logically that doesn't make sense, because she said to not go outside of the infected area. Alright, toilets and televisions. I really thought the toilets would have been the one near the lift, but no. Hang on, there's a... Television. One of Underhill samples. Oh my god, more threshold kids. Okay.
Mr. Bones. Control point. <laughs> Building shifts occur at random and without warning, but with the Bureau's cutting edge technology, we can stabilize the oldest house. Safe employees are happy employees. <laughs> Certain rituals allow agents to navigate the oldest house as well. But accidents do happen. <laughs> the shoelace tie. Agents inside the walls. I heard you got stuck in your room for three days, Tofa. Too bad you didn't have your book with you. Or any food. And remember, kids, when you feel the floor deviate, it's already much too late. <laughs> Literally just, like, screaming until it absolutely just fucking... Starts coughing, can't take it anymore. My god. Okay. Uh, now it's the one near the toilets. I wonder if I've just... It it was those toilets and I've completely missed them, but I was certain that there wasn't an objective that popped up. Uh, so this last one... Oh, let's go this way. Oh, well it's gotta be this way. Oh, well, I mean, I found a bunch of toilets, so I think we found it. Ah, yes, toilet hole. There we go. Wonderful. Not logically near the toilet themselves by the lift, but where all of the toilets are just in a weird tunnel. That's all five samples. Nice. I should get these back to Underhill. Oh, that's Lab O. Oh, that curves around to Lab O5. Okay. Wonderful. I love how when you're near stuff and you levitate, things get picked up around you. It's a really, like, neat detail of, like, the power. That you're, like, using the force uh, to pr propel yourself up. And surrounding objects. It's neat. Alright, you've got your samples. You look yeah, eat it. Mood for me. That's right. This work won't finish itself. Or perhaps it might. You just walk around all your research because you suck. I found L5. But I kind of wanted to eat them. The mold has that effect on some people. Like uh. the fact it's not actually mold or even of this dimension. I suspect it is the result of two incompatible molecular structures, one dominant, coming into contact. I call it mold or fungus because it's closer in appearance and behavior than anything else we know. Except perhaps bacteria. She reminds me of my old biology teacher. Did you happen to meet any more members of my ranger detail? I didn't see any rangers. Just walking mold people. Unless... Yes. If you found mold people, you found my rangers. I refer to the creatures as hosts. They, like other unwary agents, succumbed to the appetite. But that's nothing for you to worry about. The pill I'm about to make with these samples will make the lower level perfectly safe to traverse. It has the added benefit of immunizing you against the pit's toxic spores. I feel like I should ask to see your credentials. There. That didn't take too long now, did it? Ingest uh. this pill, then go and find the source of the mold. Only there can we begin to understand how to stop it. Take a mystery pill because a rude lady in a hazmat suit tells you to. Great idea, Jesse. Is this FDA approved? Honestly, did you want me to wrap it in cheese? Not the taste, the smell. It stinks in here now. Good. That means the pill is working. The worse it smells, the safer you'll be. Now go. Find the source. Right, find the source. I need to get going. Try not to transport any spores outside the infected areas. Okay. Why not return when you have something important to say? 
Uh, we now need to go deeper into the... in the... Oh! Does this mean we can navigate the areas that, like, were affecting us negatively before? Like, stinging us? Now we can go through those previous, uh, areas that we found earlier in the, uh, earlier in the game. Cool. I don't remember exactly where they are, but I know that there was one that was just like a room. And then the other one was uh, a bunker. Geronimo! Nice. You can safely traverse it. So now we know what that report was talking about with like mold in ingestion, which is that apparently it's just really tempting to eat. Ramsey, Ranger Captain, Note 7.25. Underhill sent us down this weird-ass threshold looking for whatever's making all these vegetables sprout. I will say this, um, it smells delicious. Then Note 7.25. Okay. Uh, while I'm here and I've got these, I may as well read up on the collectibles that I've just found before as well. So, Underhill, checking in, Federal Bureau of Control. Hello, Raya. How's it going down there? Enjoying the mall so far? Settling back into life at the old FBC? I also wanted to ask how your coffee with Emily went. She's a star on the rise, incredibly bright, extremely intuitive, but I want to hear what you think of her, or thought of her. I think you two could be very good on a project together, could learn a lot from each other. Let's get together and chat about it soon. Anyway, sorry for the interruption. I'm sure you can't think of anything besides the mold right now. You always were a woman of focus. I always admired that about you. Talk soon. Casper. Picnic basket procedures. Item to be stored in a black rock paneled cell. Keep away from lab animals when not in use. A simple wicker basket with cloth lining. No food items inside. The item produces a hypnotic effect that solely affects non-human animals, forcing them to congregate passively around the object. Animals from every genus and species that have thus far been tested are susceptible. Single cell organisms do not appear to react to the effect. So strange. Um, June in 1997, uh, item was taken to a forest upstate for testing. Results of the test provided contradicting data. Some of the attracted animals exhibited hyperaggressive behavior. The exercise unfortunately resulted in blank, blank. Further testing should be restricted to a more low risk animal species with medical staff on standby. Bizarre. Pink flamingo supplement. Agents noticed a transient commonly found outside the entrance of the Bureau headquarters would carry the item and loudly claim to be responsible for the lack of inclement weather. The frequency of these claims attracted the personal interest of Dr. Darling. In interviews disguised as casual conversations, the transient reported that the item gives me clouds when it's hot and sun when it's not. An event of note occurred during a heavy downpour when the vagrant was witnessed performing a possible ritual with the item. Dr. Darling reported a wait of blank seconds before the rain stopped. The vagrant was seized the next day. After blank, he was found to possess no blank and was released. The item remains in Bureau custody under suspicion of altered status, though it has still not been proven. All known variations of identification formulas have failed to elicit response from the item. Strange. Research and records. Mold threshold. So you want to know how my mold research is getting on, Casper? Here it is. Microscopic organisms similar in appearance to blank construct the architecture of the mold. I do not understand if these blank are the original disseminators of the mold or are bitten by some fungal infection. The mold is the most prolific and durable organism I have ever seen. I theorize there is a mold source located somewhere on our side of the threshold rooted here to accelerate growth in our dimension. I refer to this yet unknown source as mold one. The mold produces an enticing aroma to encourage human consumption of itself. It propagates in the chest cavity and quickly subsumes the entire body, seizing control of motor functions. This behavior was not observed when I first arrived, which means the mold has adapted to our presence. Targeting our biological imperatives is a way to spread. It is a truly ingenious little thing. A full report will be ready soon. Keep your slacks on. Thresholds Utility Counter-Essay. 
Dr. Darling's recently penned essay titled Blank contains some glaring omissions that I feel must shine a light on. Firstly, the entire premise of the essay is that the quarry threshold is beneficial to the Bureau, while the mold is actively hostile, to use his words. We cannot determine the worth of these dimensions and their life forms using bureaucratic definitions. Secondly, the mold is much more beneficial than some rock. If the blank creating the mold were reconfigured in their purpose, the structures they could build would rival the greatest skyscrapers. The mold's resistance to various strains of disease we've attempted to introduce could be derived into blank. Yes, admittedly this application is more difficult than picking up a rock and gluing it to a wall, but I pause to wonder when the Bureau lost its eagerness for a challenge. Underhill sent us down this weird ass threshold. Look. Goddamn Underhill, eh? Oh god. The further I go, the closer it smells. Nine, okay. You bad boys think you're tough, eh? Oh man, we're in a we're in a mold maze, I hate it. We're literally in a mold maze. That's a control point. Going crazy. <laughs> They're going crazy eating the mold. Okay. Crash test dummy room. Good. Well. That control point seems like it's the way to go. So we will look elsewhere for now. Is this where we just... Yeah, this is where we just were. Oh, there's two paths. Okay. And this way. Oh, dead end. Sometimes the pathways are much more open than you think. Uh, and then uh, the, you think that they're way more open. And then you actually check them out. And you're like, oh, it's actually... Quite contained. Is that the source? Ooh. It's kind of pretty. That's not pretty. Oh shit. <laughs> nope. <laughs> This is so fucking cool, though. Stop being surprised by all the weird shit in this place. <laughs> when I was like apparently getting a headache and it was like my body was being restricted but I could still shoot. Mold one defeated. Wild. Alright, let's return to Underhill, I guess. Nothing more to find. So glad I have levitate. Ah, to, how do we... How are we getting back? Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Did I even get anything from that? Oh. Yo! Oh, well, that's fucking unfortunate. Give me that. Oh, that's weird. It's like, yeah. Oh, so good. Oh, need more. Mm. <laughs> He's very happy about that, isn't he? Okay, abilities. Let's have a look. Uh, we got two. We need three for the ground slam. So I will save that. Um... Active threshold. Should take us back where we need to go. Yes. Oh, hang on. Aha! Balloon procedures. Another little area tucked away up here. I need to... I need to learn to look up a bit more for these spots. Oops, I mixed up my buttons. Underhill, I have destroyed the mold. I'm a hero, and now you can recognize me as the director, please, and show me some respect. You've returned, I see. Yes. And you're not sprouting mold from your eyes. I take it that means my pill worked. Now tell me everything. Did you find the source? You did, didn't you? I found a big, angry plant. Like, gigantic. I killed it. You killed it! You found the source and you killed it! I could have learned so much from a live specimen! Her concern is touching. <laughs> really, it's too much. <laughs> Here, I brought you a sample. A piece of the innermost mold! You're not such a lost cause after all. Strange. So different, even superficially. Another stage of growth, perhaps. Please, no more <laughs> stages. <laughs> You'll be pleased to know that cutting down the creature at the source has already resulted in a notable cessation of the mold's rapid growth. You've bought me time for further study. So what now? I'm glad you asked. While you were busy in the pit, a number of mold hosts were sighted beyond the threshold. They managed to sneak out without the rangers noticing. There's a reason I didn't send Steve and Andy to find the mold source with the others. These vagrant hosts must be eradicated as soon as possible. The mold can still be spread by their overgrown bodies. Any idea where they went? The hosts I've observed are not a sprightly bunch. Here are the reports I've received. They'll help you find them. I'll go take care of them. Good. And do be quick about it. There's a nice way to say that. Uh, four ability points. Nice. Old growth completed. Try not to transport any spores outside the infected areas. Cool. Mold removal. Okay. Eradicate the mold host around parapsychology, ritual division, and central research. Okay, so that's another one that we can do at a later time. That's another one that we can do at a later time. Okay, mold has been mold has been removed. So we've uh, entered and explored a little bit of the Panopticon, uh, but we need to search for Dylan in the maximum security cells on the fifth floor. And we've cleared out some mold. So let's take let's take a look 
at the fifth floor. Where's the fast travel point from here? It's, uh... Where's the fast travel? Where's the control point? From here. Pulling a blank on its loop. Oh, hang on. Over there? It is up here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Ooh! Hang on, there's a mold in there. Hello? So there's like clues to their whereabouts. There's clues where you can see like the mold. Okay. There's more mold here, so there's going to be another one around here somewhere. Darling, Underhill Disagreement. Dear Dr. Darling, I feel I must inform you of the very questionable documentation I am seeing from Underhill's desk. She clearly has no concept of what the mold is. She claims there are microorganisms responsible for constructing the mold. Ridiculous. It's a rapidly growing fungus, not dissimilar to kudzu. She's fabricating complexity to justify her absurd budget demands. Speaking of which, I find it interesting that an old friend of yours uh, gets her budget approved with no questions asked. I wonder if the Operations Oversight Committee would be interested to learn of that. Yours in estimation, Dr. Abraham Lewis. I got the balloon procedures, an alternate item, a get well soon balloon. Item must be kept away from animals, once again. The cell must be regularly cleaned of the black substance the item produces. All cleaning tools must be blank, along with the black substance itself. Item is a novelty balloon made of silver mylar. On its face is a colorful message to get well, surrounded by cartoon hearts. A ribbon is attached to the balloon. Item has not stopped floating after a considerable amount of time in the bureau, which suggests it does not hover through the use of helium. The item produces a dark colored sticky substance which strips down its ribbon. Wild. Okay. Aha, we can go in here now. We can go in these rooms. Uh, there's another one that I've got to go to somewhere else. Where's our where's our mold host? You hanging out in here somewhere? Hidden location discovered. Cool. Okay. Ah! Hello. Well, I got what I wanted. I got what I wanted. Holy. Fucking shit, dude. What the hell? I need one. Uh. Here, you're mine now. You fight for me. Okay. How was that not a... Did that clear the host from this area? I better have. Weapons mods are full. You know what that means? Get rid of all the lower tier ones. Okay. I can upgrade you. So you've got rate of fire 16. Ammo refund. All right, let's 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 fix this shit up. Let's give you rate of fire twenty seven percent, and let's give you damage after kills. Nice. My personal mods is also full. Ooh, just a straight health plus thirty five percent increase.
I'll take that. Reason to, to duplicate. If I've got better ones, then I may as well just keep those. Cool. Wonderful. That was terribly overwhelming. Ooh, this is Dylan. It's Dylan. Or is it Darling? No, it's Darling. Dude, what the fuck? He's locked in, ready to be blown away. Ground control to Major Tom. What the hell is going on? What's that? <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, darling. So strange. Well, we discovered some cool things from me just trying to get back up there to the, uh... Just trying to get back to the... Control point. There we go. <laughs> go the worst way possible to get there. Okay, we've got eight points now, so let's get a ground slam. RS when levitating, slam into the ground. Uh, I might get a 30% increase to health. Um, and then from here, I might focus on energy and melee. Uh, let's try this. Oh, it's a fuck, it's like, wait for my energy to come back. Oh, I see. Interesting. So it's like a, it's not a onto the ground, it's like a lunge forward slam instead. Oh, you can see where it's gonna land. Oh, you can see where it's gonna land, that's sick. Oh, it locks on, and it locks on to, okay. It does lock on to enemies. Now that, that is amazing. I'm a, I'm a big fan of that, that's, that's really cool. Okay, 
we'll come back here to destroy those mold samples in due time. Uh, let's first travel back to containment, uh, to the Panopticon. To the Panopticon, please. So we can go up to level 5 at least. I want to see if we can uh, be face to face with Dylan or whether we need to go through some further obstacles. That'll determine how far this goes today. Because it's asking us to search for him. So I wonder if we will, how easy it is to find him. There's another area over there as well. Can I just levitate over there now? Ah! Nope, I'm just gonna die. Goodbye, cruel world! <laughs> it's like, hey, can I levitate over there? Ah! No. Maybe if you were, maybe if you were better at levitating. Maybe if you were better. Let's uh, let's not do that. Okay. How about we we not we not do that. Up here, however, we could, like... <laughs> we could just kind of ascend instead of taking the lift. Just go, like, this way. <gasps> now we can get to level 3, which is the blocked out section. Oh, it says the... Say so archives. Is there, like, a thing for floor number 3? Oh, it uses the the icons instead. How bizarre. Floor number three. What she got for me? Surfboard? 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 Nothing. Oh, it's the anchor. Nice. Oh, am I returning uh, items to their place sometimes? When I, like, deal with them? Could that be me returning the anchor to its, uh, to its cell? And therefore these empty cells can be filled by my amazing skills? <laughs> Potentially? have a look up here. I wonder why it's blocked off though, like it's why it's redacted though. Floor number four and then floor number five we could, yeah we could just float up there if we want. But before we do that, um, that takes us to the point of kind of entrance. Oh shit. Overkill? Potentially. Nice. Where's that sniper at? Hey! Don't you dare. Okay, the P6 cell. We got the alarms blaring. I've read about you. I've read about you on a document. The Swan. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's the Get Well Balloon. Famous items that I've read about. Oh, that's the water cooler. That's the one that we've we've also read about that. I like how they're all contained. That is a crowbar. Dylan. He's so close. Alright, we're in the P6 cell. Now, has Dylan caused this raging... Uh, rampage of destruction, or was it something 
before him? That is the question. Hello. Can you hear me? Oh, Emily. What's up? Jesse. Are you there, Jesse? Emily? He's gone. Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Oh, wow. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. We need to get back. Oh my god. I have to see my brother. The face of the enemy. So he's been affected by the hiss, but he's different. And this mission is called The Face of the Enemy. Dylan Faden Observation. Does that mean that this the hiss have a... Uh, are, are going to use him as a conduit? In the same way that we are... Um, like influenced or affected by Polaris, which apparently Dylan is as well. We are, uh, Dylan might be affected by uh, the hiss. Okay, let's listen to this stuff. Too much of your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, your sister. What about her? I just want to get your perspective. What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. I adored my sister. When I was little, I mean, back in ordinary. And you don't anymore? When I first got here, sure. I'd always hoped she'd come too. Find me, to take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come too, to the Bureau. If she wanted to. But she never did. Why do you think that is? <laughs> because she didn't care about me. She always wanted to be out on her own, seeing the world. She always said so. I guess she got what she wanted. Great. So, she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? We like to ask questions around here, you know that. Any particular cities, towns, landmarks, anything like that? <laughs> I don't remember. What about family friends? Were you close with anyone living outside of Ordinary? I'm done with this. Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. Dylan, wait. We're not... End of session. I want, I want pizza! I want pizza for lunch! Give me... Give me pizza! Ooh. Okay. Control points hotline. We haven't had a hotline in a, in a hot minute. We reach tether through control points into the bureau house nexus threshold area codes allows for access you can translocate fast travel construct through the control points thank you board very handy information that i was already aware of the hammer procedure this is the mallet the game hammer there you go per archival mandates 8.a this document has been edited to meet current administrative standards certain terminology may be out of date no method for suppressing the item's um, thaumaturgical effect is yet known to prevent infection wear proper safety gloves when handling this item is a wooden mallet from a high striker carnival game a large wooden handle extends from the head this item infects any organic material with an unknown disease upon making physical contact. The effects of this disease are similar to leprosy, but develop at a much faster rate. Within a matter of days, tissue loss develops in the limbs closest to the point of infection. While the disease itself has not claimed any lives, secondary infection has resulted in numerous deaths. Dylan Faded, Observation, 9.30. Breakfast, 11.54. Gets out of bed, uses the toilet, returns to bed. Asks for television to be turned off three minutes later. Lunch is brought. Breakfast is removed. Eats lunch. Okay. So he didn't eat breakfast. Uses toilet. Begins talking to self. Recording speech is not possible due to noise from television. Becomes upset. Throws lunch tray at glass. Sedated. Crew clean the cell. Television is turned off. 
comes to ask for television to be turned on staff refuse uh sleeps question mark television privileges were refused due to hostile behavior that's a day in the life of dylan faden like i said i want to talk about jesse your sister what about her i just want to get your perspective what do you think of her what kind of person is she convinced interesting that they're showing um that they're questioning uh, us, Jesse, keeping her in, you know, their thoughts here as well. Look, mate, when you write Jesse in blood on the thing, it's a. Yeah. Hmm? I don't know. It's it seems really bizarre to me. Okay, we don't have the clearance level to go through there yet. Uh, we now need to speak with Emily in the in the boardroom. Ask. Oh, it's clearance level six. Okay. Speak with Emily in the boardroom. Let's see. Because we're, then we'll be able to get face to face with Dylan. I just can't resist. I need to I need to push through and we need to see this one happen. E levitate is so good. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hi. Uh, abilities. Alright, I've got four, so I can unlock energy or melee damage. I think I want to do... I can launch basic enemies soon, if I wanted. Hmm. I think I might just go for... a bit more energy at this point. Two more energy. Central Executive. Oh, Emily! And Dylan! The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely antithetical to every variant of the His signal he can arrange. See. How did Darwin create it? Timeline of events. Speech analysis. Okay. Did you just lie? Let's read these documents first. Speech analysis. Um, if we understand the history of force based on vibration and resonance, then perhaps their incantation, which is now the agreed upon term for their vocalizations, is an effort to express that resonance using human vocal cords and speech. Would there be differences if the incantation were recited in a different language? The most common word used is want. Interestingly, every usage of the word is attributed to a you. You want to listen. You want this to be true. You must want these waves to drag you away. Are we the you the hiss is referring to? Does the hiss believe humanity, possibly all non his life, wants to join it, to be consumed by it? Is that its goal? The second most used words are through and time. Is this possibly the hiss stating how they arrived here, or an indication of its age? There is clear intention in the words. Dismissing the incantation as nonsense, as some of my colleagues recommend, is beyond idiotic. Timeline of events. To examine the invasion's timeline of events for possible patterns in his behavior. Establishing a timeline is difficult at present because of lack of reliable communications between bureau sectors and staff. Preliminary models indicate ground zero of the invasion is located within the executive sector. Once it becomes possible to interview surviving personnel, pinpointing the exact location should be feasible. Other outstanding questions that a timeline may help answer. How did the Hiss get past the internal lockdown? How does Hiss resonance advance through space, deliberately or uniformly? What is their ultimate goal? The outside world? A cross-dimensional destination? Who knows? No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the Hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. 
He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. Jesse, be careful. Okay. Speak with Dylan on the upper level. Let me just see if uh, Emily has new information. Uh, you do not. Okay. I should be going. Enjoy your data. Oh, I will. <laughs> Bye for now. What's this? A coin? New mission. Put a record on. Jukebox token. Oh, we saw a jukebox much, much earlier in the game. They're endangering us by bringing a hiss at oh, there's more people here. You look asleep. You good? The fuck is that? Dude, there's so many people here now. Setting up shop here. All right, let's speak to Arish as well. She had to write everything in her made-up gibberish code. Fucking Marshall with her CIA spy shit. God. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. <laughs> Be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? The Bureau has been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the Hiss arrived. Come to think of it, the song should have brought back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. Weird. Okay, he's got new dialogue. Let's have a listen. What's the deal with Blackrock? Oh, fuck. Don't get me started on Blackrock. You know, ever since research found out that it blocks paranatural stuff, they have just been parading dangerous materials in and out of the fucking quarry. <sighs> fucking lab coats, man. Love making my job harder. Sounds like there's some tension between departments. Still, at least the quarry's got a good view of the night sky. Yummy you know, and Salvador used to have after work beers down there. There's definitely tension between departments for multiple reasons. What do you know about Dr. Darling? Uh, I, about as much as anybody, I guess. Head of research, loves to hear himself talk. All of those science types absolutely do. Uh, he's been acting a little bit psycho recently. Although HR told me not to use that word, so... Everyone thinks finding Darling will lead us to the answers. But if he's completely lost it, then what help could he be? You're security, right? Do you work with Rangers? Not often. Rangers are specially trained in threshold reconnaissance and ground zero AWE response. Security is more interested in the dangers inside the Bureau. They must see some weird stuff out there. Oh, yeah. Definitely. You know, every week they are tackling things that were previously unknown to the human experience. Most rangers, they retire due to cognitive collapse. I looked up the medical definition. Not fun. Not fun. How does the Bureau handle thresholds? Handle might be a bit of an optimistic way to put it. Um, Marshall sends the rangers in to map them, check growth rates, locate epicenters, take samples, measure stuff, basically. Sounds like he's done his homework. You know, down in maintenance, thresholds are used just like any other tool. The lab coats my black rock from one, maintenance siphons water from another. We use it for pretty much everything, except drinking. Why don't you drink it? 
Do I even want to know? Uh, yeah, a lot of time we find these little chunks in it. It's uh, pretty gross. I didn't want to know. <laughs> what do you think of Marshall? Marshall? <laughs> Marshall's a fucking badass. Rangers could not ask for a better leader. She's a little, uh, you know, intense, but given the stuff she's seen, I'm not surprised. She does have a bad habit of disappearing, though. Where does she go? Uh, last time she vanished, I did some digging into the security logs. I found camera footage of her entering the quarry. She was down there alone for days. Now, typically, that's not allowed, but Marshall is kind of above the rules. I wonder what she finds so interesting in the quarry. That's interesting. Maybe we should have a talk to her about that. She is a she is a strange one. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. <laughs> so she just disappears sometimes. Hang on, I can still talk to you apparently. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My old ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me: Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is, they weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the hiss to get them. Could you find them for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay hiss. Okay, new mission, old friends. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Okay, bud. A another mission to do. Jukebox con tokens can be constructed at control points or earned through bureau alerts, board countermeasures, expeditions, and defeating the enemies. Cool. So there are ways to get more of those things. There you go. Jukebox tokens. Single, set of three, or a set of five. You just construct them through source materials. There you go. Um... Let's have a look at weapon forms. We can upgrade Shatter. Thank you very much. Fully upgraded the Shatter. Because why not? Should I upgrade the mod level? We're doing pretty good with mods that we're just finding at this point. So I'm quite happy to leave it as is. Shatter! Would you like another mod? Yes, of course. Projectiles fired plus four. Minus recoil, damage against enemy also. Can we get a fire rate increase? Rate of fire 16%. I'll take a 16% increase for now. Give me a little bit of a of an edge. Um, we now have to... I don't want to put a record on. I don't want to do that mission right away. I want to speak with Dylan, and we'll have to have a look at the side mission stuff later. Uh, speak with Dylan on the upper level. I guess we just get the we can just get the lift, right? Good luck out there. Or does this take us somewhere else? Because this is the sector elevator. Can I just No, hold on. Um Just go up the stairs, I guess. I wish I could I wish I could levitate in here. Yeah. How are you? How are you? How are you? Is he up here? Apparently, the director restored HRA production. They're already getting other survivors. Ooh, they've added. There's been. Maybe I can get back to my office too. There's been more files added. God, it's hard to. It's be hard to collect all the fucking collectibles in this game because they just chuck them on on a new desk that you've already explored previously. Sometimes they're just like. They're just like yeah, let's do that. Pope's promotion. Dr. Darling has personally recommended Miss Pope for a promotion based on her work ethic and assistance in advancing many ongoing research matters. See research reports blank for breakthroughs resulting from her work. According to her colleagues, Pope has displayed a keen eye for detail and a quick grasp of paranatural concepts. She's professional and diligent, though some of her co-workers complain of social disinterest. The review committee approves this recommendation and promotes Miss Pope to the position of research specialist. He's the enemy, plain and simple. Ah. Who's sticky noting this place? Bruh. Hey. 
Whose office is this? Because it, well, I mean, who's, what room is this for? Because it's, it's the multiple people's desks are in here. Got the alcohol going. Have a read of this correspondence. Sticky note complaint. Okay, there's a sticky note complaint. To whom it may concern, in case you're not aware, something caused a sticky note in my office to duplicate. Ah, uh, my office is unusable now. I will be working from home until this is resolved. You can reach me on my cell or home phone. Sincerely, Jay Boza. Okay, chief of staff. What do you know about this Arish guy? I heard some rangers saying you saved them in maintenance. They were attacked by a new kind of hiss, and Arish got them out. All right, but still, a security guard leading rangers? I don't know if I like taking orders from a mall car. Uh, we're obviously going the wrong way. But getting updates to things with uh, dialogue is pretty cool. Being in an area we haven't checked out for a little while. I'm trying. I'm trying to remember where the shelter is that was uh, all messed up inside. All right, I guess we're going further up. How do we go? F how do we go further up? That's the. Just when I thought things were stabilizing, Marshall abandons us. She's moved. She's moved again. This way, with the guards. Oh yeah, there you go. You are a worm through time. The thunder comes to distort you. Happiness comes white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Through a mirror, inverted is made right. We fear inside the bright door. Push the thing through the surface into the wet. You've always been in there. You want this to be true. We stand around you while you train. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. Through time. Fuck, he's floating and doing his incan- uh, the hiss incantation. Through a mirror at the inverted is made right. You are a worm through time. Shit. The thunder's home distorts you. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, my Dylan. I'm here. I found you. You lost me in here. You want this to be true. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this to be true. Can you stop that? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you. We let you in. You've always been here. The only true a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. Stop it! Orange peel. Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary, in the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And <laughs> she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will emerge out of you. You are home. 
The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I'm your worms of tune. You can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, baby, baby. Yeah. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut this off the slide projector, one. maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Your regulations. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are worn through time. It's like... The is like Polaris and the Hiss, like similar. Do they operate, you know, on a similar level? Are they from like the same place? I am very curious. If so, huh? This has been a very interesting family reunion, but with this one, guys, we are going to bring this episode of Control to a close. So thank you so much for watching this one. There's been a lot of cool stuff that we've explored in this one. The Panopticon is crazy. The Hiss are getting just very intricate. They have now been able to, uh, like, Dylan has welcomed them in, and this is something different, where instead of just being turned into a monster or a floating body in the sky chanting endlessly, we are able to actually still talk to him, um, who is now just ranting and chattering and going off about things. I assume that we'll be able to get maybe some more dialogue or information out of him uh, based on the red triangle. So we will do that next time. We'll get a refret. Uh, it'll be a good place for us to propel off next episode is uh, to get some information from him. Uh, and then we'll find the prime candidate program. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Control. It's so fucking weird, and I'm so interested, so I can't wait to see what next episode's gonna be like, and I'll see you then.